Hey everyone, it's me, YD28. Welcome back to my channel, The Sims 2. Let's play Belladonna Co. for round one introductions. And we are here with a uh, family bin family. It is the Gavigan family. I believe they came with apartment life or they came with the vacation pack. Either way, they're in this town. So cool. <laughs> uh, the Gavigans, um, they're kind of interesting. Um, I feel like they're going to be a, another very dramatic family um, that, you know, is not going to be the standard kind of family -ness that they have. They have a bit more of a backstory already given to us and kind of a peek into their personalities and their relationships, their dynamics together. So I'm excited to introduce them to you and to hear your input on them. So let's go ahead, get started. We're going to look at, um, at the Sims. There are three of them. Then, uh, I don't think they have any story album. They don't. So we won't take a look at that, but then we'll do a quick apartment tour of where I put them and kind of how I've lightly decorated or furnished it and then get into some gameplay. So, um, I have played one day off camera for them because they moved in and, you know, the kind of first day is boring. Um, so it is day two with them. So this is Nathan Gavigan. He is a fortune aspiration. He wants to become a hall of famer, um, but he is not in that career strand. Uh, right now he wants to get Isaiah, his son, into private school. Uh, so we are, have that locked in to work towards that. His relationships, uh, he met, uh, well, he met, he's very, uh, pretty close with, uh, his wife, Mary Gavigan. Um, they're not like a hundred percent, but they're pretty there. And he's actually not even quite friends with Isaiah. He's not, you know, a very, um, sociable, loving father type. And as we get to know more about him, you'll kind of see why. We also met Jessica Peterson, who we are very attracted to, but we have negative relationship with her right now. Our family tree is very, very small because this is, um, we're like first generation, so. He is actually a pickpocket because he is in the criminal career. Nathan Gavigan, um, this is kind of an Irish family and he's always been part of the, um, the I Irish mafia, so to speak. He's always kind of been in with the wrong crowd and so he's come here because they had some issues back at their home in their hometown, um, that they had to actually, like, leave the country, uh, and came here to Belladonna Cove, and, uh, are trying to blend in, but he's already, um, trying to set himself up, he wants to be, like, a mafia leader, so he's already starting off fresh in the criminal career, he has no talent badges. He is an Aquarius, so he's kind of sloppy, shy, lazy, but he's very playful, and he's actually kind of nice, even though he is in the criminal career, which is crazy. Nathan has dreamed of getting out of his hometown as long as he can remember. With a love of exploration, Nathan cannot fathom life getting any better than this, especially with Mary and Isaiah by his side. Um, so, you know, he's always wanted to explore, but at the same time, he has... Um, he's trying... He's getting money from kind of the wrong places, but he doesn't really see it as being wrong because he's always done it. His father was also in, you know in the crime circle. So this is just kind of all he knows. Uh, and right now he has no reputation. He is interested in, of course, crime, entertainment, sports. Um, he doesn't actually like work, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, he has a tinkering in music and dance hobbies uh, points. Uh, here are his uh, memories, very, very simple. They just married, woohooed, had him, got a job, uh, met some people. He is into fitness and swimsuits, and his uh, turnoffs are vampirism. Uh, he has zero aspiration points, and we're just going to pop all these in here. And huzzah. So there we go. That is Nathan. He's kind of, um, he is, I don't know what the, quite the word is, but he's one of those guys that doesn't think long term. You know, he's very short short-sighted. I don't even think that's the correct phrase, but he doesn't think to long-term consequences, whereas his wife, Mary, she sees this, but she's also kind of, 
um, a sh not a shy, but she just doesn't voice her opinions or criticize Nathan too much, and that could maybe be what breaks their relationship because she is, you know, she's just a good wife. She was raised to be a good wife uh, and to just do as her husband says and just support him as she can because she has a family uh, aspiration and she does want to reach a golden anniversary. So she's here for the long haul. She does not um, want to divorce. She doesn't want to leave him and things like that. So she's trying to her hardest to make it work. Uh, she does want to have another baby, so we got that locked in right now, uh, and I'm just kind of waiting. You guys let me know uh, if we should get pregnant soon uh, and have a second kid. Um, our relationship with Nathan is pretty high. Uh, we are friends with Isaiah as well, and we've met a couple. These are our neighbors in this complex and our landlord. Uh, she is unemployed. She does not want to get a job. It is just, it is just Nathan that will be working. Uh, and she's working on her cooking and creativity skills. She is a Pisces, so she's very neat. She's actually very shy. Uh, she's kind of active, but she's serious and also very nice. Mary has sacrificed her own desires to accommodate Nathan's dream of moving to a new location. Hmm. Now that she is a mom, she has not made up her mind whether she is as happy here as she was repairing cars in her hometown. Only time will tell if she made the right decision. So she was into tinkering and, um, you know, working on cars and things like that. But she left it all behind and they don't have that um, luxury right now for her to be working on those kinds of things. So, um, so is she happy? I don't know. She's just being complacent right now and she's trying to be, you know, as happy as can be so that Isaiah, uh, you know, it's basically for Isaiah. Uh, she is into food, entertainment, culture, fashion, all that good stuff. Uh, tinkering is her hobby as we could tell from her bio. Um, her relationships, same, or her memories are the same as Nathan's. She likes formal wear and jewelry actually. And uh, she has actually 25,000 aspiration rewards already. That's mental. Uh, we're going to go ahead and lock all these in and give her the social needs one. And she has no job, so that is uh, fine. So that is Miss Mary. So we got Nathan, Mary, and Isaiah is right here. Little Isaiah, who is... Uh, <laughs> he's a fun little kid. He wants to obtain a pet, of course. Of course he wants a pet. He is friends with his mama, but he's not really friends with his dad. Him, him and his dad just don't really seem to get along quite yet. And he met our neighbors. Uh, he is just in public school right now, see, but we are going to work to get him into private school. He is a Taurus. Woot woot. He is neat, outgoing, but he's lazy, very, very playful, and he is a bit grouchy, but he can be nice. Isaiah has inherited the best qualities from each of his parents. Isaiah's knack for fixing things coupled with an artistic eye may open up a future that is beautiful and bright. So he's um, a bit of a tinkerer slash uh, creative mind as well. Uh, he, though, is very interested in sci-fi, so that's kind of why I've decorated his room with the sci-fi um, astronaut type uh, things. He's very much into aliens and astrology and things like that. Um, his hobby is games and not science, just so you see. And here's his memories. He just remembers moving. He doesn't even remember being a toddler like this kid, this poor, poor child. Uh, and he has 500 aspiration rewards. So that is, uh, oops, sorry, that is the three of them. I'll quickly show you their apartment complex. So this is, uh, they are in a kind of townhome area. Uh, we do have an apartment that has a space for a car, so that is cool. Uh, the downstairs is our garage, so we could get ourselves the tinkering car, um, to park here and here so we can get two cars which would be wonderful you walk in here to uh, the main floor and here we have ourselves our walkway we got ourselves the bathroom right here uh, this is our living room pretty darn nice uh, we also have a stereo and I got us a violin because I actually have never really played with the violin in The Sims 2 and I was like mm, well, let's do it now uh, here's our kitchen our dining room, very plain, you know, I don't even have it decorated all that much. I just added some plants. Upstairs, we got ourselves the main bathroom, which is a wood floor. Uh, Isaiah's room, which I showed you, which is quite a big 
Uh, so we could definitely, there's definitely space for another bed for another child. I just didn't want them um, near the fireplace, but I might switch their rooms. Um, I don't know, I have to decide. Because uh, it might make more sense for all the kids to be in like this one big room. Uh, and then this is uh, the master room. I, I picked this one as the master room because it's bigger, right? So, but we'll see. I could change it. Um, yeah, so that is everyone. Let's go ahead and hit play. Isaiah will be going to school in a couple seconds. And uh, Nathan also has work today. So Mary's kind of home alone. She's just right now taking a bubble bath. But we're going to get her to uh, use the restroom. And then she does need to um, make herself some breakfast. And yeah, to her and Nathan, I mean, they do get along. They do love each other. Don't get me wrong about that. But she's just, you know, she wants to, she wants to do her and do her thing. She misses tinkering. She misses uh, working on her car, things like that. Um, she, she wants to do all that kind of stuff. And Nathan like took her away from basically her job and I was like I don't know I don't know about that no that's not really cool but off he goes he's going to uh his uh, first day of work we're getting all our mechanical skill points that is exciting I'm also looking to see if we um can meet any neighbors in the town or people that we might know and or recognize uh, we're just getting all the mechanical skill points right now. And uh, they're going to be home from school very, very shortly. School and work. So we are going to clean up the house. I'd like her to, um, maybe he'll bring, uh, he will, Isaiah will bring home some friends from school or something that we can, we can get to know. Because it would be really nice if we could all meet the uh and integrate ourselves into the the town he brought no one home kid what are you doing well he does need homework help and uh, he seems to be okay so we're gonna come ask mom for homework help mom mary give me homework help stop playing on his computer Stop playing on his computer. <clears throat> okay, ask her for homework help. No, stop it. Oh my god. There we go. There we go. So we will get our homework help. Get that done out the way. I think Nathan's home and he got promoted to bag man. Uh, which is pretty nice. We're going to give mama a hug. And then he's going to come out here and play on the playground for a bit. He does really like this playground. And uh, Mary needs to serve up some dinner. We're going to make some more mac and cheese. And Nathan got promoted. He did want to help um, Nathan or Isaiah with his homework, but that does not work out. So that is fine. He now works from 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. And he could actually go to work like right now. Um, but he needs a creativity point anyways. So let's have him come work on the, um, play on the violin to get his creativity point. That's not how you play the violin. That's how you break the violin. Just so you know. His wrist looks broken. <laughs> his wrist looks broken. Oh my gosh. Okay. And Isaiah's not too, too hungry right now. So he's not gonna, he's not gonna worry about that. Mary was starving though. So we're gonna... She's going to eat and enjoy that. It's all fine. Okay, cool. He got his creativity point. Um, he's going to come give Mary a nice hug. They, uh, you know, they love one another a lot. And they, they get through, like, they have so much that they got through together. Um, it's just nice, you know. She's kind of, um, interesting looking. <laughs> Is that just me? I don't know. Uh, but it's nighttime. Isaiah, honey, you need to come inside. Go, um, use the bathroom. You need to, uh, take a bath. And then he needs to actually go to bed because it is, it will be past his bedtime. 
And yeah, all he knows is Jessica Peterson. So I'm going to see if actually Nathan could give her a call. Did I? Oh, we're in the way. We're in the way. Let's move. There we go. Uh, did I not buy a phone? Oh, let's put it there. Let's have him call up Jessica Peterson, which, of course, Mary will now really like the fact that he's calling up another woman, especially one with the reputation of Jessica Peterson. And I guess Isaiah's not eating either. Um, oh, well, that's, that's fine. She's going to put this away and clean this up. And she can clean the kitchen uh, tomorrow. I would like it if we could, like, throw a party and, um, you know, meet some more people. But uh, we're all going to get ready for bed. I'm going to have Nathan stay up, actually, until... Actually, he has tomorrow off, so I don't have to worry about that. He can just come and... Oh, he needs to pay the bills already? We have bills on top of our rent? That's lame super lame uh anyways we will go ahead and skip until morning i will see you guys and good morning guys so isaiah's off to school for this morning and mary is making breakfast for her and nathan because it's just the two of them nathan does not have uh work tonight so he can stay up um and uh stay home you know he can chill um, I do kind of want to get her something that she can tinker with. Um, and I mean, he does need the car, so... I don't see an issue with, <laughs> with getting the tinker car, you know? How much is it? Oh, it's only 800 simoleons. So worth it. Um, and so he's going to say, you know what, honey, um, she's just cleaning up the kitchen and, um, making sure we have food. Oh, don't sit. I want you to just clean up, put away leftovers, um, maybe take a quick shower and clean the bathroom. And Nathan, he's going to need... I don't know. He's going to need some more stuff. So I don't want, I don't want him, uh, I don't know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> He's going to need more skill points is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So, um, he is going to say, honey, come downstairs. I have something to show you. And she comes down and she sees, uh, the car and she's just so excited. She wants to give him a romantic hug to thank him for thinking of her. The move has been so hard on her. And, and she's just so thankful that he, he thought of her and, um, and is, you know, think, thinking of her. Because he, he doesn't think about her a lot, to be honest. Like... He does not think of her all that much. All He's very, very single-minded. And, um, and so for once, he's, like, thinking about her. <laughs> oh, my God. Can we come? We're, we're going to come introduce ourselves to this neighbor because he's being loud AF. The Lillard household. And we're in her house. Holy, her house is nice looking why do you have so why do you have so much stuff and you know he's gonna be like you know what you need to stop with the loud music and the banging on the on the walls and the, ah, uh, but she is definitely enjoying herself uh, you can see she absolutely loves working on um <laughs> on the car Oh, oh no. But she, she loves it a lot. So she's a little more open to, you know, having another kid with him sooner because she was kind of a little um, upset with him, you know, and she wasn't down for the woohooing right then and there. Um, 
so yeah we're we're just gonna argue with our neighbor which is not the nicest thing and don't lounge on her couch just go back to your place and he does want to buy a car but she's gonna make this car up kind of for him so that is totally fine Isaiah is home from school he needs a ton of fun his grades are improving though uh, he is now a B plus student, so that is good, good, good for him. Uh, I'm going to have him come play on the playground outside for a couple hours because, you know, he does like doing that. Uh, and apparently his smart investing gave us 324 simoleons, so that is pretty freaking bomb. Uh, we are going to serve up some grilled cheese sandwiches for lunch right now. Kind of pre-dinner and Isaiah is you know he's getting his fun up he already has two body skill points like these kids will be ripped playing on playgrounds all the time like that's for sure all right and then call to meal household and we should all come up he's not actually very hungry again uh oh and he's gonna come answer this he's like it's important Mary's available to talk to you. Yes. Why is this little girl talking to Mary? I do not get it. Uh, why don't you eat this one too? And then you can put away leftovers. And we unfortunately didn't get to meet anyone. Who are you? Little girl, you should not be walking alone by yourself, girl. That is how you get eaten by wolves. Oh, little girl. Which way are you going? What's that goodie full of baskets? Or that basket full of goodies? What the heck? That goodie full of baskets. Who am I? What am I doing? I don't freaking know. Um, but yeah, this was... I need to... I guess I need to take them out to a public lot in order to meet uh, people. <laughs> in order to meet our Sims. So um, I will have to do that next round. But hopefully that they'll meet... Hopefully that they'll meet. I can't talk right now. My God. Hopefully they will meet uh, more townsfolk in round two. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. If you guys are enjoying the series, do give this video a fat thumbs up and subscribe for more as I put them out fairly regularly or as often as I can. Let me know your thoughts about the Gavigan family. How you think they're going to... Uh, situate themselves in this town how they're going to meet up do you see um drama in the household or them uh clashing or you know melding melding with other families i don't even know if i'm speaking proper english right now i, I apologize <laughs> i love you guys so very much i will see you in my next video bye guys